the market, the street food stalls, and that's where the other trip boats operate from. But it's anywhere there's anyone that takes his passengers for a working lock. And right at the far end, that's the entrance to the market itself. Now this towpath was used by horses to pull boats along by rope before engine powered, uh, before they become engine powered. And today it's used very much for recreational activities, jogging, cycling, dog walking, etc. And uh, it's very pleasant to walk about from Camden Walk, then it's taken an hour and a half or so by that towpath. Now this tunnel here is called Dead Dog Basin, that's way more than my mind. But this is a location used for the James Bond Field Inspector for the Daniel Craig as James Bond cameras and out the speedboat. And that's supposed to be interesting in our fire field within the field. The reason why it's called Dead Dog Basin is because the Dead Dog Metro 27 miles this point. Inside the former Gilbert's gin warehouse, where the gin barrels were unloaded, the barges are brought up from the, uh, the boats that moored up in East London, in the Thames there. And uh, just inside the gin barrels, the bottom of the gin, they were from the water instead of gin. And it's now that warehouse is converted into very expensive apartments. Left hand side, You'll see regions go kind of very old forest miles which is in fact a winter sports activity centre for like the news groups, non instructed use kayaks, canoes, etc. That's a very pleasant walk on the towpath. Uh, once you take Little Venice, take an hour and a half or so. And uh, that first exit there, the staircase, leads into the Primrose Hill area. Very nice bars and restaurants around there. And if you walk to the top of Primrose Hill itself, you'll get some fantastic views across London. On the left hand side you'll see some grade two listed Victorian built houses. And as you probably can approve imagine that a lot of them have been extensively renovated since they were originally built, not least this one coming up, the blue motion launch is more up outside that featured in the TV programme Grand Designs a few years ago because of the underwater level extension that's been built. And you see these houses have got their own boat jetties and that's a very sellable point because residential mooring spots in all regions now are very hard to come by and the annual mooring fee could cost up to 12,000 pounds for the sale of boats uh, together with the cost of the actual boat, buying the boat, maintenance of the boat quite expensive to actually live on the canal but not as expensive as buying or renting a property around here so it's quite attractive for some many people who live in this area Last plastic cow that tells for some unknown reason. Got those works there, but there you are. 